our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the USC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, one loss. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, introducing the challenger, Sugar Sean O'Malley. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we could put inside the octagon. They are so well rounded they have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the show. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice punch there by Sean O'Malley. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes quite his size. This guy today is looking at focus miss in his opponent. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Just over three minutes to go now. Missed with that attempt. Man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Just misses with that big right hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique. Almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Well placed kick there by O'Malley. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, he just heard him, he just heard him. Real quick leg kick. Oh, good kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Sean O'Malley. Look at the whip action that comes from just throwing that kick. Oh. 
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Ooh, uppercut lands. What a fight so far. from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna be... Whoa! Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Sean O'Malley. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Oh, oh, he is sweet. Oh, big left. Back to the feet. Oh. Just misses with a left hook there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, Malley gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. How about that shin? Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet. Big kick. Just misses there with the left. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that right hand is on the point. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Head kick attempt. John able to find the target. Oh, straight right. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. O'Malley's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. 20 seconds to go. Big calls to punch land. Now he gets back to range. Very tricky when he throws that body. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. O'Malley's head kick attempt, that one is blocked.
And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. And both guys really throwing with authority. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He missed with that jab attempt there. Right hand upstairs. Liver kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to lose oh. this fight. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this ball. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish oh. this fight. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish. 13 down. steps in! Oh! Woo! What a performance! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Sugar. Tears of joy and hard to blame him. We have a new UFC lightweight champion. The celebration is on, and a life's mission comes to a head tonight as he gets it done. He knew he was going to get it done. He told us all he would get it done. I am the best fighter in the world. It is just a matter of 